Well, good morning, everyone, and happy hump day. Yay! You've made it through half the week. Here's to making it through the rest of it. So, who's ready for Christmas yet? I mean, ready, ready. All your shopping done. All your decorating up. I know I am. Well, the shopping part was easy. Because I didn't get presents for anybody this year. I'm sorry, but... I just did not have it. The financial obligations of December weighed laid me like a, a sack of toys. <laughs> Let's see. Yesterday, we went on a bit of an outing. And I uh, came back with... Uh, a number of stories to tell and we did it all in this trip in just a couple hours we went to a cemetery so there will be a cemetery video coming up soon I haven't done one of those in a little while and I'll be bringing you some stories of some cryptids Something I've never uh, really covered on this channel before. It's all been about the spirits. Here they, they see things in the woods. Is it real or is it something in the moonshine? You be the judge. And at the end of this, I'm doing a... Unbagging. It's not an unboxing. It's an unbagging this time. Something really cool. That one of our longtime followers have. Uh, had sent. And what's funny is. I was just talking about this. Not too terribly long ago. I wasn't trying to drop hints or anything, but, uh, boy, someone was listening when I was talking. <laughs> okay. Now. Let's cut the deck. And how am I going to do it today? Okay. There we go. And let's see what your card of the day will be. Your card of the day will be. The Five of Wands. The Five of Wands depicts five men all holding their own wands and brandishing them up in the air. Does that sound like soft porn or what? <laughs> like with most fives in a tarot, it is about some kind of disagreement that is facing the querent. This disagreement can be either taken to be a sign of conflict between the men or that all of them are simply enjoying the adrenaline rush of this conflict and that the competition amongst them is of a good-naturedly rivalry, not anger. The relaxed way in which they seem to be holding their wands gives a sense as this, that this argument may be one of show rather than a fierce one. From the image on the card, the symbolism in the Five of Wands suggests that there is a form 
of conflict in one's life. This may be an existing conflict or one that is brewing and may eventually blow up in one's face. It may also de depict a problem in communication. For example, in a situation where no one really wants to listen to the other, meaning that no agreement or understanding takes place. The five men may signify problems in a group of people who are not patient enough to listen to what anyone else is saying. They only want to be heard, and since none of the others will listen, they all argue at once. Much of this can be solved by taking the first step to try and initiate communication in such a way that you suggest that everyone airs out what they have to say one at a time. By doing this, you will be able to address the problem and everyone will be heard, meaning they'll all be satisfied. The Five of Wands can also mean that you are or will be facing competition in an area that you are not used to. This can be at work or school where you will meet people with the same abilities as you who, pos who possess quite a challenge, leading to feelings of jealousy, greed, and envy. The tarot card encourages that you accept the competition as a way for you to improve yourself without feeling any malice toward them. This means that you should learn how to cope with them in a civil way. The Five of Wands meaning could also be a personal struggle that you are dealing with on your own. This could be on a number of issues that affects you. Hence, you need to address them and find a solution for them. You will need to identify where the problems are and offer a solution that will handle the case. Upright Love Meaning Action is required of you now when it comes to your love life. If you're single, you may find that the one you desire can have many suitors and you may have to compete for their affection. Make sure not to be carried away by this and become too force forceful. This can discourage your potential partner instead of drawing them closer. Should you already be in a relationship, there may be some co small conflicts. Beware that what initially starts off as a playful banter can turn into an explosive argument when either of you are stressed. It's likely the arguments here are not too serious, though. Nonetheless, they will require some lightheartedness to remember how inconsequential they actually are to your happiness. Keep things playful. Career Meaning If you find the Five of Wands in this position, the conflicting and competitive competitive nature of this card applies to your career. This may be a permanent condition as a result of your line of work. This card is common amongst people working in industries such as sales, banking, and athletics. If that is not the case and your job does not have a competitive element, it is likely a temporary state as a result of conflict over specific issues. You may be fighting against one individual for a raise or position, regardless of the specific conflicts you face at the moment. You will have to contend with the egos of others. Thanks to the five appearing in the upright position here, it is clear that you are capable of defeating the challenges in front of you and banishing what is attempting to block your path. Remember, you are able to succeed, but you must fight for that victory. Financial You might be in a time of financial instability if you see the five here. It is temporary, but you must battle your way out of it. This card can be in the form of needing to work particularly hard or otherwise exerting significant effort to control your financial state. If your current state is not imbalanced, it might be that you are going to argue about money soon. This argument could be one with someone you love or with a stranger, such as a clerk or shop assistant. You might find that simple tasks such as making a return or getting reimbursed is stressful and rife with disputes. All right, so there you have it.
Okay, hey folks. Um, just making a list. I've been doing my research and uh, found a bunch of good stuff for videos coming up. Just making a list. Checking the twine. But I wanted to uh, show you all something today. A surprise package arrived from somebody, and I think I know who it is. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. And I can't wait to see what's inside. I'm not waiting around to find out. Okay. So, it's not a bomb. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ah. Okay. Oh, I love this. This is from Sherry Knotts. And this is so cool because I had just been showing you all the deck of the Crowley tarot deck that a friend had that uh, I was I was showing you what he had and Sherry went out and bought me that other deck that is just too cool thank you so much Sherry I love this oh I want to cry now <laughs> this is excellent and I can't wait to try these out and oh wow just uh wow thank you sherry she said i i hope she hoped i liked it and i love it it's it's so excellent probably couldn't have picked me anything else better Oh, plus, oh yeah, yeah, these, this is the big deck, now this is what I'm talking about, these would be easier to, to mess around with, plus you can see the pictures on them better, not those little wimpy cards, <laughs> so this is excellent, and Wow, thank you so much, Sherry. How cool. So Sherry wanted to see my reaction when I opened it, and I couldn't have a camera on me and down here showing you at the same time. So here's a shot of me before. Now here's a shot of me after opening it. So see, see Sherry, you made me a very, very happy person. Thank you so much. I love you. You're just wonderful. What can I say? Can't wait to, to use these. Try them out. Wow, you just made my made my day, Sherry. Thanks again. So, I'd like to thank you all uh, for joining me today. 
come back tomorrow for uh, tomorrow's reading. And until then, have a blessed Wednesday. Peace. Believe. And bye-bye.